Bay Area Compass. This is Ted City. This game ain't the same. Gotta play by the rules of the book. Ain't no fair game. One hand dealt. Gotta play your cards no right. And it's just the motivation. What it do, Bay Area? This is Ted City. So, back on 9 11, do y'all think that somebody would have did something to those terrorists? Because, um, could it been prevented? Do y'all think the cra the crash? Do y'all think the crash could have been prevented? Do y'all think somebody could have jumped and beat their ass, or what? How y'all feel about that? Cause uh, we got Whack One Hundred over here. He's speaking on. He's saying that he would have beat their ass. You feel me? He would have had did something. He would have shot them down or something. You feel me? He wouldn't just let that shit happen. Hey, y'all, take a look in Ted City. One of the planes Definitely that went down in 9-11? fact. You would have saved the yeah, day. A fact. Wow. And I'm going to tell you why. It was a bunch of people on there scared. Who was the celebrity that said this? I would have motivated them. Huh? Mark Wahlberg also. He said the same thing. Mark would have got Wahlberg. out for sure. I believe that. So you think that the whole plane, all 300 of them were. If one goes, they needed a leader. If they'd have saw one going, the rest would have went. That's a fact. How deep y'all think that is? You're not going to tell me you're going to kill me anyway, and I don't die behind trying to live. You don't think it's a little delusional to think right, that you could take on five about his life. terrorists with Have knives? you been on a plane? Not with an armed Muslim terrorist. That arm, if it's going to go, it's going to go. I bet you this, I wouldn't have hit no, I wouldn't have hit no buildings. I bet you never even fought. That bitch would have blew. You never even fought someone on God a plane. God damn. No, I didn't have to fight so on a plane. So how do you know that you're going to be ready for it until it's I actually fought, going down? Let me tell you why. When you've been in a prison yard uh -huh. on a level three or a level four, where they got six gun towers around you, and it says no warning shots, and you make the decision to go out to the middle of the yard with three, four hundred inmates security. with homemade knives with shit on them, Batteries in, in socks, locks in the socks, and fighting. And you go out here and make a conscious decision to be involved in this rumble with them firing shots at you. You think I'm not finna get out with a motherfucker telling me they finna do something crazy on a plane? You think you, that running around on a prison yard with a poop knife prepared you to take on some of I'm the most accomplished you, terrorists I'm of our time? I'm telling you, not having a problem coming out of that cell. That does going, sound very psychotic. Going into that situation. How could you have done that? that that's, the, that's the way of life. You were ready to die? Right? Yeah, what you mean? Jesus, man. Right? Shout out Wack 100. I mean, he do got a point, though, because at the end of the day, a lot of them people, you know, they were stuck on that plane, so their life was right there. They ended, their life was about to end right there, so what else was they supposed to do? Be ready to die? Um. So at the end of the day, how y'all feel about this, though? Man, could this shit have been, could, could this shit have been prevented? Do y'all think? Like, share, and subscribe. Bay Area Compass. Bay Area Compass. This is Taz City.